Daily Readings, February 1st, 2022. Daily Reflections. Goal, Sanity. Step 2 gently and very gradually began to infiltrate my life. I can't say upon what occasion or upon what day I came to believe in a power greater than myself, but I certainly have that belief now. 12 and 12, page 27. Came to believe. I gave lip service to my belief when I felt like it or when I thought it would look good. I didn't really trust God. I didn't believe he cared for me. I kept trying to change things I couldn't change. Gradually, in disgust, I began to turn it all over, saying, You're so omnipotent, you take care of it. He did. I began to receive answers to my deepest problems, sometimes at the most unusual times, driving to work, eating lunch, or when I was sound asleep. I realized that I hadn't thought of those solutions. A power greater than myself had given them to me, and I came to believe. And as I've said many times, people, my best thinking is what got me to the worst, my worst points. And from Yale to jail, it has absolutely nothing to do with intelligence. Because uh, I have to live my way in the right thinking, because I can't think my way out of a paper bag. Um, and it's a definitely a process, and it will be as long as I'm on that side, because um, I have setbacks all the time, people, but at least it doesn't take as long as it used to to give it all to God. And the thing is, there's nothing so bad that having a drink or drug won't make it a lot worse. As Bill sees it, page 155, built by the one and the many, we give thanks to our Heavenly Father, who through so many friends and through so many means and channels has allowed us to construct this wonderful edifice of the spirit in which we are now dwelling. This cathedral whose foundations already rest upon the corners of the earth. On its great floor we have inscribed our 12 steps of recovery. On the side walls, the buttresses of the AA traditions have been set in place to contain us in unity for as long as God may will it so. Eager hearts and hands have lifted the spire of our cathedral into its place. That spire bears the name of service. May it ever point straight upwards to God. It is not only to the few that we owe the remarkable developments in our unity and in the ability to carry A's message everywhere. It is to the many indeed. It is to the labors of all of us that we own these prime blessings. That's from AA Comes of Age, page 234, and a talk that Bill gave in 1959. And just remember this, people. Um, the people aren't perfect, especially me, but the principles are. And I've always said that as long as I've been able to think rationally or properly or when I do, not just about AA, but about the church, about society, about anything. Any principles given by God are perfect. The people are not. And as I said, especially me. So, you know, just remember that and always refer back to the literature. Anything I add that I'm not reading, um, if it resonates, good. If not, take what you like and leave the rest. But when I'm reading it, it's usually coming from the right source. Quiet Moments with Benedict Rochelle, page 43. Reach down, O Lord, reach down, O Lord, and draw us to yourself. Restrain our evil impulses, open our hearts to good, to love, to forgiveness, to the fulfillment of your holy laws, which call us to be like you. Jesus, our Savior, knock with your wounded hand 
at the closed doors of our hearts and call to us in the streets of life. Give us direction in the confusion and cares of this painful journey. Stay with us, O Lord, for evening comes and the shadows grow long. May your Holy Spirit fill the world with God's healing and strength beyond all our meriting or expectations, so that we may be saved in all those we love and the whole world. And I am an alcoholic named John and an addict. And I'm going to end this with a couple of my favorite prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Have a fantastic day, evening, afternoon, wherever you may be, and peace be with you and with your spirit. Amen.